We want to find the amount, a formula for the amount a sub n uh, after n payment periods for an ordinary annuity as described in this problem. So we have the, this recurrence relation. And if we replace everywhere we see an n with an n plus 1, we have this recurrence relation. And then you see if I subtract this one from this one, you um, get this expression here. See, because what happens when you subtract this one from this one, the two p's cancel. And so you just have a sub n minus 1 times 1 plus r subtracted from a sub n times 1 plus r. And then we just factored out the 1 plus r. So we get that. Now you can simplify this or make it a little easier to look at. This is uh, equal to this. I just multiplied this out. And now I combined all the all of the parts that have an a sub n and all the parts that have an a sub n minus 1. And then we get this expression here. So that's the that's a little recurrence relation for a sub n, which we should be able to uh, solve. In addition, we must have these initial conditions, which were described in the problem. A1 needs to be p, and A2 needs to be p plus p times 1 plus r. So let's begin with the initial, uh, with the uh, recurrence relation. A sub n is equal to some r to the n. And if I plug that in, I get r to the n plus 1 minus this plus that equals to 0. Now divide throughout by uh, r to the n minus 1, and you get this quadratic equation here. And there are exactly two solutions to this quadratic equation. Capital R equal to 1 plus little r and 1. So the uh, solution that we're looking for to the recurrence relation will be some constant times 1 plus r to the n plus another constant d times 1 to the n. And now uh, we'll plug in these initial conditions. So when uh, n is equal to 1, we want this one to be true. And when n is equal uh, to 2, we want this to be true, because that's what is required. So I have to find c and d to satisfy these two equations. The easy way to do this is to subtract this equation from this equation, because then the two d's will cancel out. And so we will have c times 1 plus r squared minus 1 plus r. And that will be equal to, uh, if you simplify the inside, it's c times r times r plus 1. And that's just equal to p times 1 plus r. So you see you could divide both sides by r plus 1, and then divide both sides by r. And you see that c is equal to p over r. So now we can go back up to this equation here. And wherever we see a c, we can put a p over r. So I have a p over r times 1 plus r plus d equal to p. And that implies that p, I mean that d, is equal to minus p over r. That, that's the solution to this equation. And so if we go back and plug in the values for c and d that we just found in this recurrence relation, we see that a sub n is equal to p times this expression here, 1 plus r to the n minus 1 over r.